Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. That is a GATE CSE 2014 set 3 question 39 guys. Okay. Yes. So let us go through the question. So suppose we have a balanced binary search tree. Okay. So it is completely balanced or indirectly called as a AVL tree. Okay. Tree T holding N numbers. We are given two numbers L and H. So basically they are giving you L and H. Okay, and wish to sum up all the numbers in the tree that lies between L and H. Okay, so L will be a smaller number 8 and H will be a greater number 11. So whatever are numbers in between these two, you need to sum them. Okay, suppose there are M numbers like that. Okay, so there are total M numbers like that. Okay, so if the tightest upper bound on the time to compute the sum of all the numbers is in this way. Okay, so then the value of A, B, C. So basically here they gave some dashes. So we need to fill them guys. Okay, so now let us take a small example guys. Okay, so let us draw a small tree. So we are trying for balanced, right? So let me draw it a perfect balanced tree. Okay, so let me write the values. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so 5. 6 and 7 okay yes so i have wrote some example values so we need to have l and h right okay 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 so now let us start start the point okay so assume that the value of l is a 3 and the value of h is a 5 guys so we need to come to this location right so the last level that is that will be the worst case right yes so to find that value how much time it will take guys okay so it will exactly take a log in time guys because First, we will check, assume that we are searching for a 3, right? So, you will come here and you will check, is a 3 equal to 4? No. Is it less than? Yes, you will come here. So, is a 2 equal to 3? No. But it is greater, so you will come here. So, is a 3 equal to 3? You found it. So, how many times you are checking? So, it is indirectly log n, right? So, the height of the tree. So, if there are n elements, the height of a balanced tree will be log n, right? Yes. So, same concept here also. Okay. So, basically, for searching, it will take a log n time, guys. Okay. Okay, so now you somehow searched 3 and 5. So the next step which you should do is you need to find all the elements in between them. Okay. Okay. So how many elements are there? It will take that much time, right? So basically assume that for this you can do a simple trick guys. So do in order traversal. Okay. So you will be doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You got the answer. So now what you will be doing? You 3 and 7. So select the elements. So how many elements are there? Yum elements. So it will take how much time? Yum time. So if there are 1000 elements, it will take 1000 constant amount of times, right? Yes. So that is the reason why you need just to add plus sum, guys. Okay? Yes. So this will be the time complexity, guys. So but in question, they want to confuse us. So that is the reason why they gave in terms of n and m. Okay? So here if you observe, so n power 0 log, okay? So m power, sorry, b power b1 n plus m power 1 log n log 0 n so this is indirectly equal to 1 this is indirectly equal to 1 so we got a log n plus m log n plus m so the values of b is equals to 1 and the value of c equal to 1 guys so if you substitute these values in our given expression it is nothing but a 10 plus 100 okay that is a 110 got it yes so now i hope everyone got a clear idea right so how exactly we are solving it Yes. So this is the solution for this particular problem. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this question, right? Yes. So the main thing here is you need to have a clear idea about the balanced binary tree guys. So whenever you are searching for any element, it will take exactly log n time. And if you want to search m elements continuously, it will take m amount of time. So you will be adding them and you will be getting the result. Got it? Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. Okay. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.